Hello everybody and welcome to Jumble House and this week's Sunday challenge. We've had a lot of fun this week making these strange little creatures out of bits of types and things that we've found in our jumble box. We've got lots of ideas about what to do with them and we call them the jumble tufts. You can see why, can't you? Yes, they've got very tufty hair and very, very tufty ears. They're very simple to make and You've probably got most of the things already at home or you can just improvise a little. Look, you just need some bits of tights and some stuffing or cotton wool and maybe some old laces and velcro and you also need glue and a pair of scissors and maybe a needle and so it is important that you have an adult to supervise. So first of all, you cut a piece of the tights so that you've got a, like a small tube and then you get a ball of cotton wool or wadding or stuffing and you stuff the centre of your tube making sure that you've still got some coming into the outside bit which will be the ears because otherwise you won't get tufty ears. And then you secure both ends with your rubber band or your hair bands. And of course then it looks like this, just like a Christmas cracker. You probably will have to cut some of the fabric that will make up the ears, but just be careful you don't cut too much because it does spring back. And then it's time to put on the eyes. But before you do that, don't be too impatient. Give it a good squeeze and a pull and make sure you've got a really, really good ball shape. And then you can stick on the eyes, either self-adhesive or you might need to use a little glue. And the nose goes on as well. And then it's time for the hair. We used a needle to thread a piece of embroidery silk through the head and then we knotted the two ends together and we did this quite a few times so that we got lots of tufty hair which then we trimmed a little to make it look better. But if you don't want to use a needle you could try sticking the hair on. Or maybe you could make a little hat out of something, maybe a bottle cap, something like that, and stick the hair underneath with some glue and then put the hat on top of the jumble tufts. For the legs, we just cut some very long laces up. You could have them different lengths, you don't need to have them the same length. And we stuck them to the back of the jumble tuft and then we got some of this double-sided sort of like sticky velcro tape and we cut little oval shapes out and stuck them together onto the bottom of the laces to make the little shoes and they're very good too because it just makes the legs a little bit heavier and so the jumble tuft hangs much much better. If you want your jumble tuft to stick to a magnetic surface like the fridge or a tin, then you need to put one of these little magnets on the back. But if you want it to decorate a bag or a sweatshirt or a hat, then some Velcro is a good idea. You can change what your jumble tub looks like too and make it really your own by changing the features on its face or its legs or giving it different hair or maybe a hat. So have lots and lots of fun making your jumble tubs. And that's all from me Georgie and from everybody at Jumble House for this week. I hope you've really enjoyed this and that you will subscribe to our channel and like our Facebook page. There'll be lots more from Lizzie Witch and some more stories as well as a new Sunday challenge next week.